Hey, I'm Perrin. And I'm Bender. We're Hiatus Coyote, and you're watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Hiatus Coyote. Hello. Hi. Hey, how are you doing? How are you both doing? Yeah, yeah, pretty good. Enjoying the breeze. It's very nice. We were kind of just discussing that, yeah, we but were, thanks yeah. for joining us on this <laughs> wonderful day. Yeah, thank you. So before touring North America, I know you were on a European tour. You've had some crazy dance parties in Barcelona. I've been keeping up with everything. It looked like a lot of fun. Tell oh, yeah. us about your time over there. What was it all like? It was really cool. It was our first time to Spain, um, this European run. So that was awesome. Um, check that, check out that, open up that market. And um, Barcelona was a really, really dope crowd. Sorry, the storm yeah. was coming. But, uh, yeah. Really good energy there. Yeah. It was really great. Good energy, good people, good food. Yeah. yeah, amazing. It was yeah. awesome. And the rest of the run was like, it was good. It was, a, it was a short run and we had like a lot of days off in between. Usually it's quite like this run, like in, in, the, in the States is always kind of crammed. Yeah. It's like, which is, which I don't know, like sometimes it's good to have it really um, crammed in because you kind of like, it goes faster. But if you have a couple of days off in between. You can at least soak things in a little bit, You right? can, you can soak things in, but then you, you end up just being really, really exhausted and like it kind of kicks in, that kicks in. I know it's weird, it's not like traveling the world, it's more like, yeah, you're definitely on a job touring the world. But it's, it's fun. Yeah. Were you able to have any fun days off when you were in Europe? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. What were you guys up to on those days off? Went to Aqualand. Aqualand. Oh, cool. So Aqualand's our favorite. It's in Cologne, in Germany. It's like <laughs> half water park, half just a giant sauna park. Sauna, <laughs> sauna complex. So, you know, just like to unwind, sweat it out, sweat out all the tour toxins <laughs> you know get tour real toxins yeah. yeah i like that <laughs> yeah, yeah. certainly in jest enough <laughs> that's why you, yeah europe's really good to tour around because they love the summers yeah yeah <laughs> well from all the photographs i've seen your live shows and people who i know have also been to them they just look so futuristic the lighting the things that you have on the ground like it just looks so cool and on your instagram you've also shared how future is cool so what kind of started this fascination and interest with future. the future <laughs> Well, I guess everyone's fascinated with the future. We're all heading towards it, into yeah. it constantly. So, you know, you got to kind of come to terms with it. I don't know. I guess we just, you know, we always want to try to do something um, new and, and different, give people kind of a a new experience, you know. And ourselves as well. Yeah, definitely ourselves. You know, we have to keep it interesting, interesting for us. So. Yeah, and that's yeah. the hardest thing. That's that's really it's really hard to um to get to the to future sometimes. If you, you're always in always in, in in the moment like we're always touring on the road so it's like it's important to kind of keep thinking about what what's what next, comes next. And yeah yeah definitely. yeah but what what would your ideal future be like because i know some people when they think about it <laughs> some people think complete peace while others just think crazy stuff like flying hoverboards so when you think about it what comes to mind um my, my ideal definitely future is it's, it's definitely <laughs> one where donald trump isn't president <laughs> i can safely say that's the kind of future I'd like to see. <laughs> yeah. How about yourself? Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. A bit more overall um, happiness and engaged within everyone's self. Like, you know, a lot of screens going on. A lot of a lot of this everywhere. So I mean, it'd be awesome if you know we can get past that, turn around. You know. Yeah. More start, human start, connection. Start fresh again or something, which is going to be really hard. So, yeah, that would be awesome. <laughs> and hoverboards, of course. Well, I love seeing how, as far as your music goes, you've self-described it as multi-dimensional, polyrhythmic, gangster shit. Like, that is a great description. How did you come up with that initially? Did, like, a journalist write that? Did you do it? Um, My journalist, Ben, but... <laughs> I just came up with it as a joke one time yeah. in an interview, and it stuck. Just wrote it in an email interview and I thought it was ridiculous and then people really <laughs> liked it so it's usually how these things go. The funny thing is it kind of makes sense. Yeah, you know, it totally makes sense but it's kind of funny describing your own thing, you Absolutely. know. Can't take it too seriously, you know. Yeah, yeah I mean it's, it's just music at the end of the day. <laughs> True. Well, when it comes to the music, Choose Your Weapon is officially released. You dropped it last year. But I saw a photograph where some of you guys were kind of noodling around on keyboards and stuff while on the road. So are you writing some new material? That was just like, that was just jamming, which we got to do more of on the road. Like, and that's what started the whole, you know, the whole thing about the future, I guess, to bring it back to that. It's like you need those moments to, 
to open up new 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 doors, you know. You gotta mm. like constantly be like creating and stuff because it just helps everything. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, that was just a, that was just a jam, and we do have we do have like tunes in in the works for sure. Okay. Yeah. Well, I know that you recently asked some fans a couple of questions on Facebook, so I kind of want to spin things around and ask you the questions you asked your fans. So the first one you asked them was, what is your favorite track off of Choose Your Weapon? Um, uh, I don't know. It's like picking your favorite child. For a while there, mine was cooler, but... Oh, the long. The long, sorry. The yeah, original working title was cooler, but... At the moment, I like Prince Mini Kid just because we never really play it, so I'm not really sick of it in any way. I haven't listened to it in a while, you know. That's still kind of a new fresh. in the sense that it we haven't really we've never played it at a gig, so it's sort of like just this recording of something that was cool. Yeah. You know. And the other question you had asked people is, what is the weirdest thing on the internet that you know of? Like, have you came across anything a little bizarre about your own band? Oh, about us. Oh, yeah, I mean, there's all sorts of misinformation out there. <laughs> some of which is really unintentional, and some of which is definitely intentional. Okay. So, there could be lies in this interview. Ooh, Sometimes we're going to we're gonna have to just try to seek often, those out. Often, we answer the interview questions with, only lies so <laughs> it just depends how we're feeling on the day yeah some of those things get a, like a bit of a you know they get a bit of a momentum and then that's a thing now yeah and it's just like yes so gotta like, keep things spicy a little different yeah, i guess right spicy. yeah definitely <laughs> well, let's wrap things up today is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who are going to be viewing the interview whether a lie or something that is true um, what do we want to say <laughs> to our fans uh <laughs> Drink more water, you know? Sleep when you can. Do some stretches. Eat a banana. <laughs> you know, take care of yourself, basically. Nice party Agreed. words. I just want to say thank you very much for your time today. Thank you. We appreciate it. Cheers. And thank remember you. to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogger.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.